As of 12.01 a.m. on September 16th, a number of new public health restrictions will come into effect. Oh, well, it sounds as though we're going to be spending a little bit more time in our homes once again. Some new restrictions being imposed here in Alberta as we enter into a fourth wave. So with that being said, I guess it's time to get some projects done around the house. And in our house, that often means tackling some of those areas, those pesky areas that need a little bit more organization. Welcome back to another video here at Homestead Studios. It is great to see all of your smiling faces. And today we're talking kitchen organization. I've said on multiple occasions that I am happy to give up some storage space if it means an increase in organization, which is essentially an increase in functionality to our kitchens. And that still holds true. So today I wanna to talk about some of my favorite kitchen organization options and how you can get those cabinets and drawers under control. First up on my list is the drawer in drawer or the hidden drawer inside cabinetry. I love deep drawers spread throughout a kitchen design as much as the next person. I think they're great for storing pots and pans, Tupperware, you name it, to be honest. They're really, really functional when it comes to organization. However, at the top of these spaces, there's often some unused area or area that could be put to better use. Enter the internal drawer. So whether you're looking to organize your spices or somewhere to store all of your stovetop cutlery, maybe it's your dish towels, or in our case, we use it for frying pans in our drawers next to our range. It's really easy to find a use for these internal drawers. Speaking of drawers, that brings me to drawer organizers. That is probably a really obvious one. We all use them for our cutlery, but I have to give a shout out to Ikea here because I don't think anybody does it quite as well as they do. They really seem to have thought of everything. So they have created their drawer organizers in a bunch of different varieties and sizes that can all be paired in different combinations to fit every drawer width that they manufacture. That means no wasted space, which I really like, but I also love that when I open my drawer, it's just perfectly flush from wall to wall without any gaps or no ability for those trays to slide around inside. So we use their bamboo organizers to organize everything from our kitchen cutlery to our knives to our cooktop utensils. So if you are only using these for cutlery, you're really missing out. Honestly, I love Ikea's knife block section that goes inside the drawer. It gets the knives off the countertop. And as you probably found out last week, that's a bit of a pet peeve of mine. That brings me to pullout storage and it really doesn't matter where it's located. There's almost guaranteed to be a pullout organizer available for every cabinet or drawer or space that you can think of in your kitchen. Here are some examples that I like to use in my kitchen designs. So let's start with corner cabinets and particularly those blind corner cabinets where you can insert a Lazy Susan, a kidney shaped Lazy Susan, or even a magic corner. Now, if you heard the words blind corner cabinet and are sitting there with just a quizzical look on your face wondering what the heck those are, Fear not, we made a video dedicated entirely to kitchen layouts and some of the different options available for corner cabinets where we discuss exactly what these blind corner cabinets are and some of the best ways to organize them. Then we have the two tier organizer. It looks like a standard cabinet from the front, but when you pull it out, it's two interior drawers or shelves that come out together. I like to include these near the range where they're perfect for cooking oils or vinegar bottles that always seem to be a bit of a pain to store in a random cabinet either standing up or they're they're in the way you name it this gets them out of the way organized in one cabinet right where you want to use them there are also garbage and recycling organizers now ikea manufactures a cabinet that is specifically built to hold two of these that pull out and everything is accessible right in front of you now, you may not want a dedicated cabinet specifically for your garbage but ikea and a bunch of other manufacturers make units that sit within any regular cabinet this gives you complete pullout accessibility to your garbage, your recycling, maybe even your compost. However, if you are looking for a dedicated cabinet, one thing I would definitely consider is including a press to open function for the door. So you can use your knee to open the door, allowing the cabinet to entirely slide out, toss away your garbage without having to touch anything with your dirty hands. And the last pullout organizer that I have been including in a lot more designs this year at the request of clients is the mixer stand. Now, if you're someone that loves to bake a lot and are constantly pulling your stand mixer out of a cabinet and onto the countertop, this might be an option for you. This organizer places your stand mixer on a convenient shelf that tucks away into a cabinet, but then lifts out with ease every time you need to use it. Now, it should be mentioned that this organizer does come with a bit of a downside in that it eats up quite a bit of cabinet space and it often requires a dedicated cabinet, 
with a bunch of dead air around it when it's in storage. However, if you are somebody that bakes quite a bit and are constantly pulling that stand mixer in and out of a cabinet, it might still be worth it to you. Moving along the list, I have internal pantry drawers. I, I guess this is kind of another pullout option. Actually, I guess everything we've talked about today is kind of a pullout option so far. Anyways, I find our clients asking more and more for internal drawers within their pantries to allow for better organization. With drawers, all of the items in your pantry are easily accessible and there's no need to dig to the back of a shelf now for a specific can or bottle. And to be honest, if you're including 24 inch deep pantries anywhere in your kitchen design, I think internal drawers are an absolute necessity. I really can't imagine digging to the back of a 24 inch deep cabinet to find that specific thing you're looking for. After all, the pantry golden rule is to make sure that you can see everything that is inside. Now I have to admit that this next item on the list is, is something we're not very good at in our house, and especially for a family that loves to cook. And that's getting our spices organized. There are tons of options for organizing your spices. Spreading them across an internal drawer would probably be my top choice, especially if you could have it located right near the range. Then they're all easily accessible right in front of you. They can be in the same size of containers. They can be labeled. You can see which one is missing. But you get my point. There really is no need to have them shoved in a bin inside the pantry or inside a cabinet anymore. Some other options include gripper clips that can be installed pretty much anywhere, or even pull-out style racks that can be mounted to pantry shelves or cabinet shelves. Plate and bowl organizers. A few weeks ago, I noted that a bunch of our clients are starting to take all of their dishware out of their wall cabinets and put them into base drawers. Now this is awesome for accessibility, but it does come with a bit of a downside, in that those bowls and plates can move around as the drawers are opened. This is especially true if you have a bunch of eager kiddos running around your house, constantly opening and closing those drawers. Plate and bowl organizers can stop this issue of them sliding around as drawers are open and closed. In addition, they keep everything organized with as little wasted space as possible. Next up, I have plastic or glass storage containers. And I'm not talking about the ones that you stick your leftover food in and take to lunch the next day. I'm referring to the ones that are meant to go inside your cabinets and stay inside your house. Now, it might seem like a bit of a frivolous spend because after all, everything we buy tends to come in a box or a bag of some sort anyways. However, uniform and matching containers allow us to maximize the storage space inside our cabinets. This is especially important for those of us with smaller kitchens. An extra bonus is plastic and glass containers can keep everything airtight and extra fresh. You could, you could even consider labeling them all and having the labels pointed out so that everybody would know exactly what's what. I'm starting to understand why my wife can get annoyed with me. Adjust the height of your shelves. This probably should have been number one on the list, but sometimes we forget that the simplest solution might actually be the best. Take a look through your cabinets or your pantry, and with some simple height adjustments, you might be able to transform the space, increasing a whole bunch of extra storage area, as well as increasing the organization inside. So if you don't have internal drawers within your pantry, take a look at those shelves, maybe make a few height adjustments, and you'd be amazed at how much you can transform the inside, creating a little bit more storage and even more organization. Alrighty, we are at the last item on today's list, and it is not so much a kitchen organizational tool, but geared more towards those who are in the planning stages of a kitchen renovation, especially those who are going the RTA or IKEA style cabinet route. And that is to take advantage of unused space. With off the shelf systems, there inevitably comes a time where filler panels need to be used. However, if you have at least five inches of space, use a drawer front to make a hidden cabinet turning what would be an unused area into more storage. These hidden cabinets, as I like to call them, are great for storing those large, awkward items like cookie sheets and muffin tins, especially for those of us that don't have a drawer underneath our range. Well, I'm about to go rip apart and reorganize our pantry, seeing as how we're not going anywhere for a little while. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up down below and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks a ton for watching, folks. We'll see you guys next week. Oh, one last thing. Go through your leftover, your, your food storage containers, those ones you do take for lunches. We all have lids without bottoms and, and bottoms without lids. Get rid of them.